key part of permaculture or any water harvesting water self-sufficiency system is continuous checking up so just because you've done something doesn't mean that it's going to be working so in my case um, the barracuda which is this vacuum thing for the pool kept on sucking in the tadpoles because I've got all this life and it's just sucking in so it's not really sucking in from the bottom it just lifts up the dirt and the little guys that are swimming in just get sucked in and they get killed so then we found this mesh it's got sticky side on one side it's quite um, maybe two by two millimeter um, and then I stuck that around and it just pulls in and it doesn't work so now evaluating the situation I've got this hard mesh which is plus still plastic we use it for screening some stones for biochar filter or actually screening the biochar um, and it fits really nice so I just cut it so I'm going to give you a little close-up and it really tuck, tucks in very nicely here between yeah just pushing it in I've left a, I left a little nuggets here a little plastic piece nuggets and now I feel I'm getting closer and I've got good news I've discovered a crab in our pool which is amazing I have to go and get it for you just to show you it's hiding there in the bottom of the pool <laughs> um, but it was phenomenal so it's obviously been brought up by a bird carrying an egg on its foot um, yeah so I wanna get him some get him some ladies and uh, have lots of crabs and just seeing the, the life in the pools I was thinking if there's a crab I can possibly even have some prawns who knows I might not even need this barracuda thing eventually because the main thing I get it is to clean up the muck from the bottom and if I get some prawns crustaceans that can eat up the muck and I can harvest them to eat um, why not you know the excess um, but yeah so slowly we're moving towards the thinking of aquaculture system because you know, we're not vegans um, or vegetarians. Most of our diet is vegetarian and vegan, but uh, we do really enjoy now and then having some animal protein and, you know, I don't find anything wrong with it, if you have it now and then. Um, and what better source of animal protein than having it <laughs> grown in your own pool or um, a little pond. So let's go check it out. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that guy gave me some trouble. I don't know if you can see, but here's some tadpoles. Yeah, there are loads. So my mom took some tadpoles to her pool. They all died. If you are thinking of uh, designing your own eco pool or harvesting your own rainwater or just getting off the water grids, having your own fresh, clean water, I um, highly recommend checking our Abundance of Water Permaculture class. Um, I've learned from Jeff Lawton as well as Mike Reynolds from Earthship Academy, all the water systems, the ferrocement from Mexico. So there's lots of knowledge and lots of trial and error, lots of mistakes. And the training is, comes with a 30 day unconditional money back guarantee. So if you're not happy with it, then pop me one email and I'll refund you uh, with PayPal. So it's super safe. Uh, the course is only going for a hundred dollars. Used to go for 260. So I'm just creating a new training based on John Todd's living eco machine. Um, and that's why I'm just giving a bit of space for selling the old courses. But it's still great. All the information is there. There's theory and practical. And you'll learn a whole bunch of projects. Biochar water filter. All DIY. Uh, rainwater filtration uh, with, with biochar filter. Three types of water tanks. Rainwater harvesting. Permaculture earthworks as well as from the roof and the road so all the projects are there um, come and learn come and learn and you know don't do the same mistakes i've done at least you can learn those mistakes and avoid them it's all practical step by step i've got 120,000 liters of drinking water 
and uh, it's living water because the crabs cannot exist in water that's you know it has to be moving water removing clean river water and here it is ah. in the middle of a, a city I think 5 million people maybe 10 million people city I don't even know Johannesburg I've got this swimming pool and uh, was living water and then that water is treated by a biochar filter which we drink but I can also drink it straight out of the pool fantastic so I look forward to be seeing you inside of our training and until then have a fantastic day There's the water filter.